Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I have just been to the body shop to pick up the big wing. So, it's in the back of the car, uh, and I'm going to have a go today at fitting it. It keeps absolutely pouring down with rain outside, but let's go and see. So you've just seen the carbon wing, it looks awesome, they've done an awesome job painting it. Um, so I'm going to try and get the old spoiler off, I don't exactly know how it comes off but the one thing that will get it off, if you do your own working on cars and stuff, the only thing you need is one of these. It is just a normal impact driver with a 10mm connection. Easy. And the other one. Now I've got to work out how the rest of the spoiler comes off. Also, what you must have while uh, working on the car is tuna sandwich. Needed. And some plastic trim removal tools. Okay, so I've pushed the car back into the garage because it started to rain again. I've got to take off these plastic trims, I would think, and this one, and this one. This can stay. And then I'm hoping there's some more fixings somewhere to get the spoiler off. So I'll uh, have a play around and see how far I get. Right, so the plastic trim is off. It, I hate taking plastic trim off, I always feel like you're going to snap it, but they literally just pull off, like, pull it pretty hard, it comes off, so, it's off, sides are off, now I don't know if you can see on the camera, but in there, there are some 10mm bolts, now, I think, I'm probably holding the spider on, so I'll take them off and see what happens, this is actually really easy to do, so once you've taken the two 10 mils out, next up is, you see that little blue thing and that one? You literally just get a hammer and just tap them out and it pops out and the spoiler should come off. <clears throat> spoiler is off, kind of. So you just need to disconnect the brake light, which is that grommet. And this little connection, that should pull out, and then we can start fitting a new one, I hope. Once you've unclipped the brake light, there's this little tube thing that's plugged into it for some reason. That comes out, then take them out, and then without scratching my car. The old spoiler. Whoosh. It's off. So that's my cat. <laughs> Window spoiler on it. Looks weird. Right, back. Took the spoiler into bits. You can see, that's the top bit. So I'm gonna try and do the install of the first, the first bit. Let's 
gone better than expected to be honest. If you can see under there, that's the holes that need lining up. And there, and there. So I'm gonna go grab the fixings for it and try and screw it in. Right, after a bit of fiddling about, we've got the bolts. Two, three, four in, and then the two original ones that I undid with a 10 mil. They screw back into the side. So, nice. Been absolutely pouring now. That's the first bit is on. So, I'm going to click all this plastic trim back on. Obviously we've lost lost the brake light now and we're not going to have one on the spoiler but we don't need one. So I'll click the plastic trim on round there. I'm hoping it's going to go back on pretty easy. Okay, back again. The weather is pouring down. But we're nearly at the end of doing the spoiler. The spoiler is here. This is the cabin bit. Uh, in last time you saw me put the little blue things inside of here. Well, I've got some pink ones this time. These are password JDM washers, eBay, free quid or whatever they were to match the pink STI badge. So I'm gonna wait for this rain to stop a little bit and then I'm gonna put the spoiler on. It is pissing down. And that is what it looks like. I love it. I think it looks awesome. And the carbon looks beast on it. We've still got these um, blue ones under here. Might change them out for pink. Um, I think I probably will. These look smart on the end of here. Pink colours. Nice. And that's the wing. Um. Well guys, it's done. The I've changed the little washers to pink ones on the back of the spoiler. Them. And then I'm very happy with it. I think it looks cool. And yeah, I think next time we're going to be putting on some rally mud flaps and um, stop my car getting stone chipped so make sure you check in for the next video on that uh, thanks for watching and peace